We've made it back to the postseason here in year two of the Raiders franchise and open in the wild card round against the New York Jets. I think we have an excellent matchup here in today's game as we'll try to advance to the second round where it could be the Kansas City Chiefs awaiting us. We've already had a number of good battles in this series, but we've got to get our first playoff win of the franchise to earn that matchup. Last year, we made the postseason, did not score, obviously did not win. But this team is better and this quarterback is better. Denzel Stockton under our new downfield aggressive attacking scheme. He has had much more success in his second season. And we've also got even more weapons on offense. We still have Josh Jacobs and Devontae Adams, but now Rashad Bateman, who has fully broken out this year, has made this offense even more potent. This defense has a defensive player of the year, just like we did a year ago. This season, it happens to be Max Crosby. And we've still got a really strong secondary led by Legereus Sneed and Jalen Johnson. And we'll bring this challenge to the New York Jets. They are quarterbacked by a rookie, George Garrison, from Boston College. He was a very injury-prone but highly talented quarterback prospect who has stayed healthy and has led the Jets to the postseason. He can make all the throws. He has great accuracy, strong arm, even a little mobility. He can break the pocket and make some plays, but you've got to keep him protected. Brees Hall, 19 touchdowns this year. Garrett Wilson, 1,100 yards. The Jets have a really good unit here. The Jets are still a very defensive football team with Sauce Gardner and Quinn and Williams, two of the best defensive players in football, and some really solid players alongside them. You got Quinnen's brother, Quincy Williams, DJ Reed, and it even seems like the Jets have worked on their offensive line in this series. Deion Dawkins brought in and drafted Bryce Houston. This is actually an impressive job by the Jets getting a much stronger, well-built team for this game. We ranked 9th in scoring. They ranked 10th. We allowed the 11th most points. They allowed the 6th most. Two quality teams going head-to-head. -head. It should be a good one. Of the 17 games we played this year, 15 of those were decided by one possession. I expect this game to go down to the wire as well as we have Denzel Stockton and George Garrison, two of the best young quarterbacks in the AFC. It's always fun to see what teams get built up in these franchises. I think both the teams here have pretty good stories. Baltimore wins their game against Buffalo. They move on. If you win the AFC, you certainly have to earn it. And it's time for playoff football. Underway on Super Wild Card Weekend. It is no ordinary Wild Card Weekend, not anymore. And we're starting with Denzel Stockton and this Raider offense. That's been fun to watch all season. But how are they going to handle the matchup against Sauce Gardner and the fact that last year we never even scored in the postseason? Here's a good start. Josh Jacobs rips off a 12-yard run. Scoring is kind of the first step. You know, I want to take a step further than what we did a year ago. Scoring would be that step. It's a short run for Jacobs. Carry for Jacobs, not much. And an injury, that is John Runyon, who plays right guard. Luckily, we do have our starting tackles back, so we can handle that a bit more easily. Against the pressure, it's knocked down. Thought he had Adams, and with some more air under it, he certainly would have. So the Raiders get one first down and then end up punting. And the Jets will start their day at their own 20. Here comes George Garrison. 30 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. He's got a better supporting cast than most Jets rookie quarterbacks have seen. It's first down and they go empty. Starting the day aggressive or not. It's a dump off and a short game. Garrison again empty. He fires complete. Shy of the first down. 
All right, they will line up under center now with the fullback in the game. Brees Hall is the running back. Here's Hall. Hesitated and did not get the first down. Devin White on the tackle, and Divine Diablo is shaken up on this play. No funny business. They kick it away. Good job by our defense. And Anthony Clinton handles the return. Has a lane and then taken down. All right, Diablo's going to be fine. I don't know about Runyon. I'm imagining if he went into the locker room with that C, and he's probably going to miss at least a little bit. Out of the shotgun, and it's Jacobs. He makes a man miss and picks up four. Both teams come out spreading out the opposing defense. Second down for Denzel Stockton. He fires quickly up the seam, and it's hauled in. Michael Mayer for 21. And Stockton gets it out quickly, and it's a diving interception. Cam Bynum makes the play. That ball came out so weird. Stockton, in the postseason last year, did not look like the same quarterback and he just airmailed that for Devontae Adams. High behind him, not even close. And the Jets take over after a bizarre interception from Denzel Stockton. And the Jets keep it on the ground, and DJ Reader stuffs the run. Last year, Stockton was ultimately benched in the postseason game for Aiden O'Connell. And O'Connell did play better when he came in. On second down, Reader's back. Making a great impact on these last two plays. And it sets up third down. Garrison back to pass. He fires and hooks up with Garrett Wilson. First down, Jets. Both quarterbacks can stretch the field. Garrison has better short accuracy than Stockton. Takes off and fires. It's caught. Coming away with it inside the 10. Tyler Boyd. I thought he was about to scramble at the last second. He uncorks this pass. And it's a money ball just out of the reach of Jack Jones. How good is this George Garrison? Jets go I formation, take the receivers out, they earn a rest. Pitch out, this is Hall, chased down by Diablo. Hall inside, clear path, touchdown. Jets strike first. And that was a very impressive drive from George Garrison. Only two of our games this year were decided by more than one score. We happened to win both of those. We had no multi-score losses. It's a give to Jacobs, and he runs downhill. Good yardage. There we go. The fullback's in there. We can start to fix this. It's a run. Jacobs has the first. Over the middle from Stockton, and can't connect with Devontae Adams as Stockton opens the day one for five. We really need a big play here. I can feel the comment section. I already know. This is sailed. Going deep. Caught by Bateman. He just beat Sauce Gardner for the big gain inside the Jet 20. How critical has Rashad Bateman been this year? He just seems to keep getting better. And he's 25 years old. He might actually keep getting better for a while. 48 on that catch. And now trying to finish this drive. It goes to Jacobs. Got a big block and a gain of three. Have to get inside the nine on third down. And we do. First down, Jacoby Myers. Across the middle, it is caught. Touchdown, Devontae Adams. It wasn't looking good there for a moment, but the big play from Bateman gave us the spark we needed. George Garrison made two outstanding plays on the last drive. What does he have in store now? I'm really impressed with what I've seen. 
Jets want to run it, and Reeder is already making more of an impact than in most games this year. Garrison scans, faces pressure, throws wide of hole, incomplete. Garrison, quick fire and caught. Garrett Wilson, first down. Garrison, oh, he never saw the rush, and it's Jack Jones who brings him down. We take it to the second quarter, and we've got a third and long for George Garrison. You cannot let them have this. Garrison with time, just out of reach. Would have been close. They had me pretty worried the way this game started. It felt too much like last year. Josh Jacobs finds a little space. I do like that we've tried to establish the run early. I don't think throwing like 44 times against this defense is a good formula. So another run to Jacobs. They're not doing much, but 4.1 a carry. Just stick with it. I believe in Denzel Stockton. It's third and six. Stockton has time. And now, I think he threw it away. Yeah, this team's going to definitely lock up the receivers from time to time, and you can't force it when that happens. Here's Garrison. New drive for the Jets. And the dump off. Wow, he got away from that. Wow. Brees Hall is different. Yeah, I've got to see this one again. We had two defenders right there. A defensive player of the year is one of them. It's got to be one of the most impressive plays I've seen by a running back in this game. It's Garrison. Pressured by Crosby. And it's knocked down. That should have been picked. Crosby hopefully just getting warmed up. And now Devin White knocks this down. Garrison moves to 6 of 12. And the defense trying to take him off the field again. Not like in an injury way, but like in a three and out way. It's Crosby. There's your defensive player of the year. Stockton opens on first down and cannot escape the rush of Quinn and Williams. Nine yard loss. Long way to go on third down. And we got it. That is cut by Devontae Adams all the way out to the 43. Big play up the seam for the Raiders. Now it's Jacobs on the run. Great blocking by Bateman. He's outside. Still fighting. Out of bounds at the 23. Yeah, Rashad Bateman was a big part of that play. That was fantastic. Jacobs right side and again he's down the sideline we got to keep attacking him there two big runs back to back and now we're inside the five it's Irwin the fullback drives down to the one don't be afraid to do it again or Jacobs can't move the pile one more try, toss right, and not getting in is Cheney. The Jets have a goal line stand, and it'll be fourth down with the offense staying on the field. We put two receivers back out there, and Stockton's changing the play. Biggest play to this point, Stockton incomplete. Broken up by David Long. He wanted Rashad Bateman, and the Jet defense keeps it a tie game. Now this feels like a playoff game. This is fun. Brees Hall now, another great play as he gives the Jets their breathing room. Jets facing a third and three. Garrison hits the conversion. That's Paris Campbell. Three in change to play in the first half. Good catch made by Garrett Wilson. Now to the left. It's Hall wrapped up and a flag down. As we'll back the Jets up. Who's going to have the two-minute drill? Jets beat the warning. 
Garrison complete. Garrett Wilson in Raider territory. We missed a chance to get him off the field, and that's a catch for Tyler Conklin. Jets trying to control these last two minutes. Third down, Garrison converts again. He's got quite the connection with Garrett Wilson. I should be taking notes here for my Saints franchise now that I think about it. Garrison, downfield, and broken up by Jack Jones. Man, if this guy stays healthy, he's going to be a problem. He looks so good. George Garrison from the 31. Across the middle and hauled in. This guy does not throw a bad ball ever, it seems. A minute to go. Wide open. Garrett Wilson. I have no idea what played out there. That's a huge breakdown. And the Jets have taken the lead. Looks like he just gets a good release against Snead, who then gets collided with just a little bit. But I think Garrett Wilson had him at the snap. Well, at least we have some time to try and get an answer. Three timeouts remaining, just under a minute. And plenty of big play weapons in this offense. Jets look to press on first down. Stockton off the mark in the direction of Michael Mayer. Now setting up the screen for Josh Jacobs. Gets a huge block and reaches ahead. Almost got the conversion. Now it's a pretty critical play that you get the conversion now so the Jets don't get it back. Yeah, same thing and the screen could not get completed. That quick pressure disrupts the throw too often, and we are giving it back to the Jets. This needs to be a banger of a punt. A.J. Cole trying to make his money right here. Fair caught inside the 20. Gotta hope we can get a sack or something simple that takes this to half. Don't want them getting an extra possession. Garrison, laser, first down. Out at their own 30 now. Garrison lofting. Has a man open. That was Boyd. Just a couple plays to get him set up. From here, it's a 57-yard field goal. Garrison just out of reach. Uh-oh, what does he see? George Garrison, one of the most impressive rookies I've seen here in a while. Downfield. Has Wilson inside the 20. And they've got to spend their last time out. They'll do so with 15 seconds left. Playing it safe with a field goal now. But this possession was just extra. As they go up 17-7. This ain't looking good the way George Garrison is carving up this secondary. Final play of the first half, and it ends with an incompletion from Denzel Stockton. A 7-for-18 first half against a great Jet defense. And right now, this ain't looking good for our Raiders. You got to come back and beat the Jets, who are the three seed. And then you get Kansas City as your gift. The Bills have already lost, so Kansas City would be a guarantee. Man, they're getting the ball first, too. I forgot about that. The defense is going to have to play a great half. I think there's maybe seven points of wiggle room here. We can't allow more than seven, ten points, maybe. And that's if the offense really gets going. But you cannot let Garrett Wilson cook like he did in that first half. It's Brees Hall to start. Chased down by Merrig. They audible and go empty. Garrison likes to spread the field. Floats it complete at the 35. They're giving it to the rookie on third down. He floats behind his receiver, and it is a three and out. Let's see if we can take a bite out of this lead now. 17-7. Denzel Stockton intercepted by Sauce Gardner. Jets take over. Another Denzel Stockton playoff interception. His second of the day. 
He was all over Myers, and he already had his shoes separating in the regular season. He's not separating from Sauce Gardner. This is Garrison, slings it complete near the 20. The carry to Hall gets the first down. Running inside, Hall gets a few. The defense trying to hold him to a field goal would keep it a two possession ball game. I'd keep my eyes on number 17 here as Garrison has time. It's knocked down. Max Crosby in coverage? At least it worked. In his playoff career, Denzel Stockton now has four playoff interceptions. It's a Josh Jacobs run. He gains four. Here's Jacobs again. Looking like a busy day for him. Sebastian Joseph Day shaken up. Third and short. They bring the fullback Irwin in. He leads. Jacobs a first down. 100 plus on the day. Raiders down 13. Getting a jump start from the rushing attack. Now protecting Stockton who shows off the cannon. And it's intercepted again. Sauce Gardner. And it's a Jets touchback. Five playoff interceptions now in two games for Denzel Stockton. Cornerbacks almost never make this play. It's usually knocked down or the receiver catches it. Unreal. Brees Hall now earning every bit of this nine-yard pickup. Every franchise ends up having a few storylines and narratives, especially early on as we build the team. If this is the way the game stays and we can't fix it, we're going to have an interesting storyline to kick this franchise off with. Garrison is just ripping us apart. Garrison to Hall. And the run is contained. But how about the BC rookie, George Garrison? He's got Garrett Wilson. This is one of the best, most impressive quarterbacking performances we've seen in the series. This is the best normal development quarterback game I think I've seen in a very long time. They keep it on the ground now. Hall lost it. Raiders football. That was sorely needed. A big takeaway, and now what do you do with it? Trayvon Merrick was there. Oh, it was Spillane who forced the fumble. Raider ball, a run with Jacobs. And this is just not going to be enough. Stockton has time. Knocked away again. Thought he had Josh Jacobs. It's third down. He's got time. Caught! I think yes. Had to see if Mayer held on to it. He did. From the 49, it's floated way out of bounds from Stockton. And there's no saving the stats today. We just got to find a way to score on this drive and get one more touchdown on him in the second or the fourth quarter. Four man rush. It is off the mark. What is it? Here in these playoff games from Denzel Stockton with these misses. I'm still thinking about the Devontae one earlier. What is going on? AJ Cole boots it out at the 21. Not even a good punt. You can't waste turnovers like that. That might just be the game right there. George Garrison knocked away by Sneed. Garrison on third down. It is a catch. Tyler Boyd extends the drive. Brees Hall carries. He's got room. Across midfield as we take it to the fourth. George Garrison downfield and knocked away this time. 
That was good coverage from Quinton Lake. And the chance to take the Jets off the field here. Third down. Incomplete. Jalen Johnson. Good coverage. You've got to get a touchdown on this drive. That's what it comes down to. Stockton from the 20. And Jacobs trapped in the backfield. Garrison. He has time. Knocked away from Devontae Adams. We played so well this year. And, like, we're in the AFC West. We face all these AFC teams. It's not like we've been hiding from this caliber of opponent. Yet the playoffs come around. And, again, we have a no-show. But Adams now. He's out to midfield. We needed that one and need more. Stockton. Downfield again. What a catch. Devontae Adams. Full extension there at the 26. So here we are. One of our best drives of the ball game. We come out in the eye. Play action. Driving the ball. Adams. Touchdown. And the Raiders are within one score. He beats Sauce Gardner on the play. We're back in it. Great ball there from Denzel Stockton. Does he have another drive like this in him? Do you believe in the Raiders? Can we pull this off? It's been an ugly day. But so many games are not won by the team that played better. We have to be that team that wins despite not playing better. But that means stopping George Garrison again. Jets at their own 25. Garrett Wilson is wide left. And it's Hall on the carry. And a gain of three. Hall. Jump cuts. And not much there. It's third down. Can we make a play? Garrison, knocked down. Robert Spillane on the coverage. It's a three and out. Momentum is starting to turn our way. And we're taking the football now down by six. Anthony Clinton handles the return. Taken down around the 30. Devontae's in the zone. He just had a great possession. Now up the seam to Michael Mayer, and into Jet territory we go. Stockton heating up. Here's Jacobs now, and a seven-yard pickup. They pitch it out. Jacobs, head of steam, gets the first down. Stockton back to pass. Checks down. He's got a man there. It's Antonio Gibson. We go under five minutes to play, and the Raiders close in. Jacobs fights beyond the 20 on his 25th carry. Josh Jacobs right side to the 15. On third down. Mayer first down. The Raiders are getting close. You just got to believe, guys. You can't lose hope. Here's Stockton for the lead. Touchdown, Rashad Bateman. The extra point will put us on top for the first time in the postseason. What a comeback engineered by Denzel Stockton and these playmakers. The job is not over, but for a while, it didn't look like we'd even have this opportunity. Let's finish this. The rookie George Garrison in his playoff debut, trying to launch the Jets to the second round. They have it at the 25 and run inside. Brees Hall taken down by Merrig. Hall again. A little more room, but still not much. It's third down. Garrison outside. Knocked away from Wilson. Legereus Sneed makes the play. And it's decision time. 
One point game, three minutes left, and they'll trust their fantastic defense despite giving up two straight touchdowns. That could be the last time they touch the ball if we play this correctly. Run back by Clinton to the 33. We run it with Jacobs. He has an opening and nearly gets a first down. And that takes us to the two minute warning. We're this close to moving on. A second and one, not a good place to be for the defense and Jacobs has it. A lot more down inside the 40. We're in the field goal range. Jets have two timeouts left. A couple first downs could end it. To the outside, Jacobs is loose. Inside the 15. One timeout left for New York. More Jacobs. Now he is stuffed. And we have a chance now to run some clock. Ball at the 11. Again, Jacobs pops it outside, and I thought he was about to score. Ooh, are we throwing it here? Third down, spreading the defense. It's Stockton, end zone, 2-4 for Adams. The clock stops, and we will go up if we make the field goal by four. I don't like that call, man. Field goal's good, but the Jets have one more shot. 56 seconds, no timeouts, Jets need six. And it comes down to the rookie quarterback, George Garrison. I've sang his praises throughout the game, but now Denzel Stockton has showed up. And it's Garrison's last chance. He's got time, gets hit, and delivers out of bounds. Four-man rush, protected, better, intercepted! Go down, Jalen! Or take it all the way back. Your choice. Down at the four, and the Raiders can kneel out the clock. The New York Jets will lose this game. What a fourth quarter comeback engineered by Denzel Stockton. This is going to be the greatest comment section ever. If you fired off something in the first three quarters, you got to keep it. I was sure we would lose this game. I thought it was too much in too little time with how poorly we had played. And by we, I mean Denzel Stockton. But he just pulled it off. And this year is now officially a success. That's our first playoff win of the series. And another one score finish. That game was unlike anything we've seen in a while. George Garrison was so good for three quarters. And not necessarily bad in the fourth, but our coverage was just too good. We contested all of their critical third down passes while Denzel Stockton found a way for us to start making plays. We had a great day from Josh Jacobs, almost 200 yards on the ground. Devante, Garrett Wilson, the stars came out in this one and ours were just a little bit better. And how about this scoring graph? This game was ridiculous. 17 points scored in the fourth quarter. That is how we win our first postseason game of the series. And our reward for this achievement is a matchup with the best team in football. We've met the Chiefs many times this year, split the season series. And the third matchup's gonna be for a spot in the AFC title game. That's it for today, everybody. What an unexpected victory. Our season is not over yet. I'll see you next time in the division round playoffs against the Kansas City Chiefs. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Drop a like if you haven't, subscribe if you haven't, I'll see you next time, everybody. Have a great day.